church now, but I'm coming to represent and try to represent God well. We believe in lifting up the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Everything is going down but the word of God. Hallelujah. And everything is moving by the power of God. I want to give honor to my brother, Amen, for giving me this invitation to come and speak to you by the way. He's been grinning from ear to ear ever since I've been in town. Amen. It's a blessing to have a brother that love you enough. Amen. To want to spend some time with you. There's no time like family time. Amen. Let's bow in prayer. Father, we give you praise and glory and honor this morning. We thank you for what you have done, what you're about to do. We pray now that you touch these lips of clay, that I may be able to speak your word. Yes, so me, Lord, you love me all. And take over and take control right now. Father, I sit down that you may stand up and make yourself known to the show people. I decrease that you may increase, God. Let your anointing flow in this house today. Send a word that will change our life forever. We will be helped to give the name of the Lord on and the praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. What I'm at like I'm at home this morning, if you don't mind, let the church say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Let the church say hallelujah again. Hallelujah. Amen. And give God a hand praise if you don't yeah. mind. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I'm going to try my best. I am, uh, uh, first of all, thank you for your accommodation last night. I got plenty of rest. Amen. And I'm, I'm, uh, I look younger than I am. <laughs> I feel younger than I am. <laughs> and I preach younger than I am. <laughs> so I'm a long way to preach you, but today my brother, I always told me that Lord had his way, but he liked to make sure I limited about 25 minutes, maybe 30 to the most. <laughs> Normally, I'm about an hour, good hour preaching. Good hour, good hour, amen. Because when I was in the world, I was in the world. Amen. I was a drum major on the March 105, so I know how to step high. And then we did it good when I was out there, so when, if I did it good in the world, I'm going to do it good in God. Amen. I haven't stopped drinking, I just changed glasses. Amen. <laughs> I haven't stopped dancing, I just changed the pot. Yeah. You don't want to hear me, okay? We don't go on. Yeah. Yeah. So I believe in having a good time, amen. There's no party like the Holy Ghost party because the Holy Ghost party don't stop. So if I was wild out there in the world, I'd be wild for God, amen. So if I was loud in the world, I'd be loud for God. I'm not going to sit here and act like I don't know God being good to me because God being good to me. If it had not been for God, I'd be on my side. I'd have lost my mind a long time ago. Yeah, the head of the woman is her husband. Are y'all still here? Oh, 
y'all, you ain't gonna help me right now. So that's why in the beginning of time, God created man in his image after his likeness, and he gave him dominion. And when God created man, male and female created he them, but man he made from the dust of the ground. Yeah. Not the dirt, but the dust. <laughs> dust means it's accumulating in the atmosphere, but God made man, he made man standing. He didn't make man laying down, he made man standing up. Are y'all still here? So man have no bit in a lame position. Man's supposed to stand, having the all to stand, stand down for. He should never be in a lame position. Get yourself up out of your lame position, because God didn't make you laying down, he made you standing up. Thank God that he did not make us laying down. If God had to make man from the ground and throw, blow, blew the breath of life into the ground, everything would have had that spirit of God on the inside. Instead of the cow saying, Moo, they've been saying hello. <laughs> And so the ball said, by why he said, how you doing? Y'all still here. But so God had to create man from the atmosphere. So he accumulated the dust enough to form man from the dust of the ground. Then blew the breath of life to man, and man then became a living soul. Thank you, Jesus. A mind, will, and an emotion. And God called man and called him to sit in the midst of the God and brought all the animals. Can I tell a story? And brought all the animals. To Adam to name. Watch this now. Set it up out of authority and his position as a man. Uh, yeah, uh huh. Uh huh. If anything you name, you got authority over. Amen. Now, I named my children, Jamila and Jimmy. Uh -huh. So when I call them, they come to me because I have authority over them. Amen. I didn't name your children. If I call them, they may not come to me. But I don't have authority over them. Amen. Whatever you name, you have authority over. God brought the animals to Adam and he named them all. Then he signified he had authority over them. Watch this now. Adam was the God of the earth. Man. Lord of the earth. Y'all heard the toss and Lord of the jungle. Yes. Yeah. Let me get on this side. Y'all heard the toss and Lord of the jungle. Y'all know. Could nothing outrun Tarzan, could nothing outfly Tarzan, could nothing outswim Tarzan. Or oh, y'all see him. But when he got in trouble, he gave a long extended shout. We call it Shabbat. Amen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he gave a long extended shout. But he came when he shouted, everything came to Tarzan rescue. Are y'all still here? Now God be out of the head. Urshan, you may be at least y'all have a seat. I want y'all to get enjoyed of this time. Hallelujah. <laughs> Everything God brought to Adam, he named. And whatever the name that was, that what it was. Yeah. But that was not found or made suitable for him. Yeah. Say that again. That was not found a mate suitable for him. Yeah. Dog, no cat, no bear, no rabbit, no horse, no donkey, no sheep, no lamb. Nothing was found suitable for him. So God put Adam in a sleep, deep sleep, took out a rib, not ribs. A rib. Not my wife, my girlfriend, my best friend. What real? Took that rib and formed. A woman out of that rib yeah. made her distinctive, yeah. different, peculiar, special, graceful, delicate, precious. Woke up Adam, and there she was, right there. Amen. Now remember, God brought everything to Adam to name. Amen. But when he brought the woman to Adam, Adam got distracted. Uh -huh. Right. Instead of naming her, he said, Whoa, man. Wow. Oh. <laughs> 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 Welcome to man when you see one man. Whoa, woo. Call him my man. Instead of naming her, that's what he said. He said, Bone of my bone, flesh of my flesh, she shall be called oh, woman, but he never named her. If you didn't name her, she don't have an identity. She don't know who she is. Amen. If you don't know who you are, they can call you anything. Amen. And they wouldn't call you with your answer to. Amen. So now she's left out there with no identity. She's there as a woman. I don't know who he is, but she don't know who she is. Amen. Now the devil see a prime opportunity to come in. The devil always look for a space. Yes, man. That he can come in and trap you while y'all still here. Yes, yes, yes. Now, now he know who he is, name got authority, but he forgot to name the woman and she's there with no identity. No, no definition of who she is. 
And now the devil will come to her and say, I, I know God said to you to this room, you're going to die. You shall not die, but God knows. First of all, she had not been in touch to the servant. Amen. Amen. Second of all, she should have went to her husband and asked her, was it all right? Amen. But because, y'all get quiet with me now, <laughs> but because she didn't know who she was, she thought she had the authority to talk to the servant herself. So y'all, y'all mess with me right now because when I say that, she, you, you, I do what I want to do. So that's your problem right there. That's your problem. It's my thing. Do what I want to do. You can't tell me. You know the story. <laughs> See, that's your problem right, right now because can't nobody tell you nothing because you don't know the significance of a man being a man. <laughs> See, you women have to understand the devil is after you, but he's not really, he don't want you. He wants the man. <laughs> the Bible says he may walk with the woman, but he after her seed. Maybe okay. 
She ate, nothing happened. She gave, listen to this. She what? She gave. She what? She gave. She what? She gave. Mm -hmm. I got a problem with that. She what? She gave. Man is a giver. Mm -hmm. The woman is a receiver. Mm -hmm. Ain't nothing on me to receive nothing. Nothing. We get on this side. That's how. That's how. I thought y'all had a good revelation. Y'all, y'all missed the revelation. Ain't nothing. Ain't nothing on me to receive anything. Man is a giver. The woman is a receiver. God made Adam for Eve, not Adam. Yeah. Now I get on this side since y'all got it. God made Eve for Adam and not Steve. The man is a giver. That didn't know me to receive it. Get on this side. Y'all see, y'all got to get with me now. Understand. Don't get distracted. When you get distracted, you're looking to what she. Go ahead. Or you're just looking for Abbott and you eat. God made man, woman for man, not man for man, not woman for woman. Don't get it twisted. Don't get distracted. You're looking for bad girl to go to. Overcoming this stress, but begin the time. Adam got distracted. Uh -huh. He got distracted because he saw look good. Man. Don't get mad at Adam. David got distracted. Amen. Yeah. Amen. David supposed to be out there in the battlefield fighting, but then he go uh, on the top of his house looking at another woman bathing herself and got all distracted. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Don't get mad at David. Something got distracted. Stronger man on the earth. So Delilah laid his head in the lap of Delilah, told her all his secret. She shaved his head and he was bald headed. Went up and shook himself. Don't he have some power? All they have for the shake. There's too many folks sitting there take shaking with no power. Because you think you got it and you don't have it. But you don't lost your love. You, know, you got distracted. I 
things that we do say, y'all need to come to Sunday school. Isn't it strange that we can't come to Sunday school at 9? But let that pastor say we have a walk in the trip on Saturday about 4 o'clock. I'm coming about 3.30. Everybody be here. We're going to cool your pillowcase. Yeah, uh-huh, yeah. You're going to have on everything there. I ain't going to miss your trip, girl. Can't take no time. You got all the money in the world. But you're going to walk in this. Isn't it strange you can't come to Sunday school on time at 9? And Jesus said, do you want to get up? I said, he said, how did anybody put me in the pool when the water fell? But Jesus, I didn't ask you that. I asked you, watch this now. I asked you, I asked you, do you want to get up? And the man said, yes. <laughs> Jesus said, get up. Yeah. And immediately the man got up. <laughs> Mess me up. Mess me up. What happened? He was not lame in his legs. He was lame in his head. <laughs> He had surrounded himself with impotent folks, folks that were blind and hot and wet and paralyzed. These people who you surround yourself with, when you surround yourself with people, you become just like them. You can be a whole connect up to somebody that don't know Jesus, don't have no holy ghost, don't have no vision, don't have no hope, and you'll find yourself just like them. And y'all say, women, be careful who you connect them to. If that man don't have his hand on, he's gonna leave you headless. Amen. Amen. Oh, I'm gonna preach out the rock. So you don't need, you don't need no man.
Because the only difference between a real man and a punk is the fact that a man that has been diverted back down to a male, male and female created he them, that means he gave them no identity. So when you don't have no identity, you don't know who you are. That's why when you see a uh, homosexual, he's a he, she. Mm -hmm. He don't know who he, she is. Yeah. Cause he don't have no identity. Yeah. Or y'all still here. Yeah. That puts you in the category of a punk. Mm -hmm. Cause when you're a punk, you can live in that woman's house, but she come to herself after a while. We're gonna preach in a few minutes and I'm <laughs> when she come when she comes to herself, she said, get out of my house, a man ain't gonna get out the house. Yeah. But what a punk gonna do? Yeah. A punk gonna wanna fight. Yeah. But that's the only way he can prove his manhood <laughs> by beating you down. But he was a man, he said, you're right, baby. I said, hey, I'm not going to stay here. I'm going to get in the job. I'm getting out here. But that part of my, he ain't going to tell me. You know, I tell you what. You know, you know why he said that? But he can't live without you. All right. Yeah. 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 I'll preach a bit of that. I'll shout, but it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. He can't live without you. You know what? You, you supply the needs. Yeah. Yeah. You feed them. You clothe him. You yeah. bathe. You giving him shelter? You think he's gonna get upset? Nope. No. <laughs> you don't pick that dog up out there. You don't clean that dog up. Take the groom shoe. Put Levi's on it. I'm sorry, polo. Gave him a haircut. Sit him up to your table. Now he is still a dog. He just a well groomed dog. Man is a spirit. 
He lived in a body. He possesses a soul. You never seen me. You seen the house that I live in. Mm -hmm. That's what it be after from the Lord. But after the body because of the Lord. Man is a spirit. He lives in a body. This is not your home here. Amen. This is not you. Don't get wrapped up in this. Don't think this is all bad. Just because God bless you with long hair, pretty shape, pretty teeth. Don't think that you all that you still dust baby. Amen. You ain't dirty. You dust. Amen. We are going to dust away. If God takes the spirit from you, you go right back to the dust. Amen. Hallelujah. So don't get in pride. Don't get thank you all that. That's why I don't like kids that don't obey their parents. Amen. Father, do you hear the cry of your children? Amen. Hmm. 2 15, 11. And he said a certain man had two sons. Yes, sir. And the young of them said unto his father, Father, give me mm -hmm. the portion of good that follows to me. Mm -hmm. And he divided unto them mm -hmm. his living. First of all, the son said, give me, give me, yeah. give me. Yeah. You ain't getting nothing yeah. to you. Deserve it, man. Give me the portion that follows me. Why does that boy want something for nothing? Y'all about to say, I'm going to get my sock. It was free. It was free. <laughs> I was going to get my sock. I love it. I love, I love crazy sock. I love it. I, I said, we want all we want something for free. All we Give me the portion that falls on me. Watch the father. Good father here. The father said, and the father did buy the what? He bought unto them. Yeah. Not just him. Them. They're living. Not when they said the younger son, y'all I like story, I like story now. The younger son took all of his stuff. Uh -huh. Can I come now, Pastor? Oh, yeah. Took all of his stuff uh -huh. and went to a foreign country he knew nothing about and wasted his money, substance, on riding to let the boy had a party. Yes, he did. The boy was bad, the boy was rich, put money in the hand of a fool and he'll soon depart. <laughs> money in that butt hand. He went out there and did everything he thought he could do. Isn't it strange how you got all, you got all kind of friends when you got money? Amen. When you set the tables up, drinks on me, you provide the transportation, you rent the place out, party, you don't rent a, a party bus. Y'all going down the highway party. <laughs> Just on the bus jump, the bus jump. Y'all see here? Oh, he got it going on. It's this strange how you be the other the joker in the room got all these women because you buy the shoes and the hat and clothes and everything else. Y'all see here? Well, watch this. If you lose all that, you don't lose everything. Will you eat that? Oh, no. 
me, but he came to himself. Never been a time to comfort yourself, the time is right now. He's a mother and father sin against God and my father and the law and I'm going back to tell my father that I'm no more worthy to be called their son. See, he's to say that, then he's to do that. What I like about this young man, he just didn't say it. He got up. He did what? He got up. He did what? He got up. Went to his father. Watch a good father. Father, do you hear me? You got to hear your children. You got to hear the cry that being made. The boy made a cry. Uh-huh. Who they say, give me what belongs to me. Hit that until he didn't have no experience. Amen. Amen. But if that's okay, if you want to hear, take it about when you be back. Watch the every day daddy look for him. Amen. 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 Yes, he was. Amen. Amen. Every day he looked for him. Because he knew he said an inexperienced boy in the world, in a dog eat dog world, and he won't prepare for us because he knew he was coming back. But y'all said, if it don't kill you, they're gonna make you better. Amen. Well, oh, I love this. Hallelujah. He got there and then brought some woman to my daddy on the way back alone. His daddy saw him. Uh -huh. Yeah. Woo. That looked like my boy. Uh -huh. No, he didn't say that. He said, no, that's my boy. Ran uh -huh. to him. Watch when he got to him. When he got to him, the boy didn't look the same, mama. Uh -huh. The boy didn't have no clothes on. Uh -huh. The boy was barefooted. Uh -huh. Didn't have no rings on his face. No clothes on his back. Nothing. But that's my boy. And the father grabbed him. Watched the dirty, stinking, smelling like a hog, and fervently kissed him. And embrace him. Or y'all sit here. Watch what he said. Father, I have sinned against God and against you. And I'm no more willing to become that son. Make me. Oh my God. Make me one of the high servants. God, help me, Jesus. Help me, Lord. I hear you, Holy Ghost. Make me one of your high servants. I'm no more worthy to be called your son. Call the servant. Put a robe on his back. Give him his dignity back. Put a ring on his finger. <laughs> Give him his authority back. Put shivers on his foot. Give him his civility back. So my son was lost, but now he's found. He was dying, but now he's sick. He was dead, but he's alive again. Bring, bring him back. Watch this. Now he has come back to himself. Mm -hmm. Now he's a man. Man. Amen. <sighs> when he left, he won't worry. Yes. When he came back, he was worried. Man. When he left, he was a boy. But when he came back, he was a man. Yeah. It's not the scenario of the story. I quote my Bible and finish it out. The, 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 the scenario of the story is there was another brother at the house. Amen. There was another brother at the house that stayed in church. Uh -huh. That went to Bible study and Sunday school. Uh -huh. But had a whole lot of hell in it. So much of hell. Hell is not a curse word. Down there. Hell is a place where you're going. Watch this now. Hell is a place where you're going if you don't live right. Yes, 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 yes. Hell was prepared for the devil and his angels. Yes. So either you're going to heaven or you're going to hell. Are y'all still here? Amen. Uh huh, yeah, thank you. Well, see, see, Peter, Peter, Peter. And Jesus told Peter, you're going to deny me three times. And Peter said, I'm not going to deny you. And y'all said, I'm not going to do it. You know, I'm not going to do it. Now, remember, hell not a curse word, right? Okay. I'm not going to do it. And, 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 and Peter was warming himself by the fire. And the little dad said, you one of them? Peter said, no, I'm not. Amen. He kept warming himself by the fire. Another dad said, oh, you, you one of those disciples? Peter said, no, I'm not. <laughs> Another saying, yes, you one of them. Your speech give you away. You sound like one of them. He's my what? Your speech. He said, I'm not. Hell no. No, no, no. I'm sorry. I'm getting a good sign. Now, 